Have any of you guys had a celebrity encounter that didn't go quite as you expected? <laughs> Maybe it left you feeling a little disappointed afterwards? You don't know whether you're disappointed because you're looking so forward to meet this person and they didn't turn out to be what you wanted, and so you kind of left with your head hung low. Or maybe you're disappointed in yourself because you got so excited to meet somebody who has no effect on your life whatsoever. Why are you excited to meet a celebrity? Well, this recently happened to me. It was actually last New Year's Eve, so almost a year ago now. My friends and I decided that we wanted to have a big night out. And we wanted to go to a big party. And we found out that the Drake Hotel here in Chicago has a huge New Year's Eve party every year. So we thought this would be really fun. So we bought our tickets. We got dressed up in our best suits and our best dresses. And we headed out for the night. When we got to the Drake Hotel, the party was crazy. It was huge, there was rooms everywhere. People were getting incredibly drunk. It was a lot of fun. There was multiple rooms, all with different dance floors, all with different music. And we flowed around and went into each room. And at the middle of the night, we decided that we'd all meet up in the main room. So this room had the biggest dance floor, had the most DJs on stages. And we were having fun dancing around. And then all of a sudden, the DJ cut the music, grabbed the microphone, and start hyping up the crowd. So they started saying things like, how's everybody doing tonight? And the crowd would go nuts. He started saying, who's getting drunk tonight? And everyone would go even more nuts. And he said, well, your night's about to get even better because we have a celebrity among us. And now everybody on the dance floor is straining their neck trying to find who is this celebrity. DJ says, will you please welcome to the stage Ludacris? And sure enough, from a table near the stage, Ludacris stands up, walks over to the stage, gets on the stage and grabs the mic and just starts talking to the crowd, saying, hey, I'm happy to be here. This is awesome. Chicago. Love Chi-Town. This is great. Having so much fun. Can't wait to drink and party with you guys all night. He goes, I'm going to be making my way through the crowd. Happy to take pictures, whoever wants one. Thanks for having me. Gives the microphone back to the DJ, heads off the stage, and starts making his way through the crowd. So now I'm standing in the crowd with my friends, and I'm like, OK, this is what we're doing. We're getting a picture with Ludacris. This is awesome. I love the Fast and the Furious movies, and I like his music, too. So I'm standing there, and this is a huge dance floor. So it's taking forever, because everybody wants a picture with Ludacris. So while I'm standing there, I'm just kind of thinking, it's a little weird. It's awesome that Ludacris is here, but why didn't they have him do a song? He's a hip hop artist. He's got a lot of top hit songs. Why didn't they have him just sing one song and then have him meet everybody? I thought that was a little weird, but I didn't think much more of it. Finally, Ludacris got close to us, and I put my hand out and said, hey, Ludacris, could we take a picture with you? He said, absolutely. So he put his arm around all of us, gave somebody my phone, and he snapped a picture. I said, thanks a lot. I'm a big fan of your work. And he said, thanks. Have a great night. And that was it. So at this point, you might be thinking, how was that a bad celebrity encounter? It seemed like it went just about as good as it could have gone. What else did you want from him? Well, the night goes on. So we continue dancing. We decide that, well, we've probably been overserved, so it's probably time to go home. So we make our way home. I tell my friends good night. I go to bed. The next morning I wake up and my head's hurting a little bit. I'm not sure why. I decide I'm going to go online and see if I can see any posts from Ludacris about that night. And maybe I see some pictures of me. Maybe I could see me and my friends with him. So I decide I'm going to go to his Instagram page so I can see some pictures. When I go on his Instagram page, there he is. He's partying, having a great time. But when I look a little closer at the picture, I notice something's a little bit off. Ah. Ludacris has a slightly different haircut in the pictures on Instagram than he had last night when I saw him. So I felt that this was a little weird. So I decided, well, maybe I'll go to Twitter, see if he's posted something about last night. So I go to his Twitter page, and my heart sinks. The first post that I read from Ludacris himself says, can't wait to party with y'all in Miami. Miami, not Chicago, not the Drake Hotel, Miami. And now it becomes crystal clear to me that I did not meet Ludacris last night. I met a guy that kind of looks like Ludacris and told the entire crowd that he was Ludacris, but this was not Ludacris. And I took a picture with a random dude who told me he was Ludacris. <laughs> the Drake Hotel had just pulled a huge prank on all of us. And while I was reading the Twitter, I was thinking, I should have just done this when I was on the dance floor. I had all this time, and I just said how long it took for Ludacris to finally make his way to me. We all walk around with these supercomputers in our pockets, our phones. If I had just pulled out my phone, typed in Ludacris's name, in two seconds I would have come up with a picture and realized that was not Ludacris. It could have saved myself and my friends a lot of embarrassment. 
So I realized that this is a useful tool. And anytime, if you're going out with your friends and thinking about what restaurant you want to go to, pull out your phone and pull up Yelp and look up a review. Or maybe you're doing a long road trip and you feel like you need to take a stop for the night and you're in a town that you don't know. You can pull out your phone and look at some reviews of the hotels and see what the best hotel is. So avoid the mistake I made and pull out your phones and do a little research. <laughs>